You can set up Debron's system in just three easy steps. Before setting up, please see the preparation. Check the system configuration of the power transmitting side and the power receiving side. Here are the items you will need to have ready. Read the cautions in the manual carefully. You are ready for the setup. Let's start the first step, installing the power receiving side. Mount the power receiving unit on the AGV. Mount the power receiving coil unit on the AGV. Connect the power receiving unit to the battery and then connect the power receiving unit to the power receiving coil unit. Connect the power receiving unit to the battery with power cable 3 which is prepared by the customer. Connect the power receiving unit to the power receiving coil unit using two cables, power cable 2 and control cable 2. Now you are ready for the second step. Let's install the power transmitting side. With the power receiving side on the AGV, move the AGV to the stop position. Install the power transmitting unit and the power transmitting coil unit at the AGV stop position. Connect the power transmitting unit to the power transmitting coil unit with two cables, power cable 1 and control cable 1. Remove the small panel on the side of the power transmitting unit and loosen the cable fixture's sealing nut. Pass the user supplied input power cable through the sealing nut and cable fixture and fasten the sealing nut in place. Connect the input power cable and grounding conductor to the terminal block. Reattach the small panel on the side of the power transmitting unit. Connect the input power cable to the primary power supply in the factory. Now you're ready for the next steps. Let's check the operation. Move the AGV to the stop position. Turn the power transmitting unit's main power switch on. Turn the power receiving unit's power switch on. Turn the power feed switch on. Power transfer begins automatically and the LED on the front of the power transmitting unit lights up. Wireless charging stops as soon as the AGV starts moving.